Hello everybody, welcome to Vampires game number 18, is it? Yeah, it must be. A TV advantage, but it's Wood Elves, which is... Oh no, it's not, it's a TV disadvantage, because he's got three journeymen. Glorious! Glorious. Hello, Jimmy and chat. Glorious, thank you very much, Backyard Dodo, for staying fantastic. Thought I'd have an advantage, but it's a disadvantage, of course it is. Um, he's got three guard. Okay, one's in a tree, but still. Blodge. I haven't got any tackle, have I still? I'm really regretting that pro. Should have been tackle. Nah. Yeah, goblins, yeah. Goblins can get could get multiple ones from the thing. Um... Yeah, Underworld, yeah, and North. Overall, though, I think it's it's unexciting. The, uh, the, the altar. I wouldn't use an altar on purpose. <laughs> I might do it for a joke, but I don't think it's a good primary strat. TBH. Right, let's kick and see what happens. Kick and see what happens. Seems good. I like kicking and see what's happening. <sighs> yes, you can foul, but it's still you're still losing for the drive. So it's it's just shit, man. You get to foul on turn eight. If you've kicked and they've scored on turn eight, you get to foul him on turn eight. Whoopity fuck. Hey, I hate the fucking older. <laughs> I honestly hate it. I hate the bomber for 10k. I wouldn't even have him for 10k. I honestly wouldn't even pick him for 10k. Wouldn't even take him. There you are. On a dwarf team. So, there you go. Well, thank you very much, Backyard Dodo. I think it's good for good stars. That makes it good for halflings, isn't it? Getting deeper to be cheaper and Morg or Zara, or whatever. Even Puggy. Fair enough. Um, but I fucking hate the the secret weapon dwarves. Hate them. I guess it'd be okay against Clawpon. Just stick them on the line. So I guess, I guess, yeah, it's got a niche against claw pom teams. I quite like Fez glitch as well. He's rooted. And he's set up so that, um, okay, well, unless he gets the board down, he's got to push away. You know Pushed him pretty far away there. Turn one route is pretty nice, isn't it? And yeah, he set up wrongly, didn't he? So he didn't get to keep him in contact. Silly boy! Well, he could have done, but he would have had to block with Loma. So a bit of a mistake there. Hit 
Epictetus, that's one. <laughs> Maybe you hit him under the ring like the greatest Royal Rumble. <laughs> oh, God, how good was that? That's the best moment in wrestling of all time. If you're not a fan of wrestling, what you should do is you should... <laughs> You should Google Titus O'Neil Greatest Royal Rumble, and it's probably the funniest thing you'll, you know, that's ever happened in wrestling. Uh, no, it's not Xbox Drunken Mall. No, it's PC. The vamps are PC, and the uh, the uh, dwarves are Xbox. I'll do some dwarves later when there's more people playing. See. Yeah, I think he just wanted to try and protect this guy, but it ain't going to work, is it? Hey. He's protected his dancer pretty well. <laughs> Hello, Skuro, yeah, glorious vamps. A little big look at a death ball. Alright, so it's either blitz this guy, or blitz him and block him. You just put two assists and block him, but then the frenzy comes into play. Um, but I can follow. I can always move people around to protect later anyway. with block is good, isn't it? Can't push me into the uh, into the tree there. Powder him. Powder. Yeah, I think I'll get top dwarfs to be honest, super bases. I, I plan I'm planning on playing some more games. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hopefully They're not very scary against elves anyway, I don't I mean elves are the worst matchup for uh Oh yeah, he's got frenzy shit. Um elves are the worst matchup for fucking vamps anyway, you know, because they they're just elfy or elves, that's the thing, isn't it? Their strength is uh yeah, I forgot about Frenzy. I thought about the Frenzy there and forgot about the Frenzy pushing him into the tree. Oh, well. Vampire's strength is against cages, isn't it? And then elves just don't really care about the vampire strengths. Now oh, I trapped him. Oh wow, brutal, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? What's this guy got? Dodge. I mean, I could get a pretty easy 2D on the ball, couldn't I? But there's not really a... a, uh, a recovery after that. Plus, he's got blodge anyway, so... It's a bit fucking unexciting at the best of times. Right. Can whack him into extra blocks. Don't even need him. Hmm. 
don't really want to dodge away on Edge. Edge three, do I? Just leave him there. Don't want to move anybody else. <laughs> what was that vanity hand of? I don't know. I really don't know what, what the idea of that was. Maybe he wants to skill him up. I, I don't know. It was pretty random, wasn't it? Pretty random vanity hand off. Yeah, I, I, looking back, Drunken Mo, I should have gone tackle over, over pro, I think. But, you know. Live and learn, don't you? I could have even gone mighty blow first skill and tackle second or something. Because, yeah, the game is all about getting the ball, isn't it? So you kind of need tackle. But never mind. What's done is done. I should put just learn skills on, shouldn't I? Yeah, all about Pom Vance, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, having Blodge is good, isn't it? But, yeah, having a tackle is essential. Having a tackle is pretty essential. Never mind. Yep. Yep, drunken mole. Uh -huh. More removals. Plus we end up being down men with vampires, and being down men against elves is fucking awful, isn't it? Whereas being down men against Bash, well, you kind of expect to be. You can just remove a man a turn with his fucking hidden mighty blow and have no problems. Vanity passing all the time. Nothing to fear from failing a dice roll, has he? Nothing to fear at all. Probably won't foul now. Well, maybe he's got three reserves. Oh, three reserves? So. This is shit because the push gives us another. Blocking with him, a push gives us another block. Whereas pushing with him, a push is not good, is it? But then obviously more chance of it working with him. I think I'll do some safe moves first. Yeah, I don't mind moving him over there, actually, so we'll block with him. There you go, there's the pushes, as, as expected. Defenseless guy. There's really not enough here, is there? Fucking activated him. Has my guy. There you go. Brilliant. I've activated the absolute bare minimum vamps. Still fucking removed a guy. It's just awful, isn't it? God, I hate vampires. I really fucking hate vampires. They're so shit. They're so fucking bad, though. Bye. And they're just literally I think this is one team where I think the uh, the fucking altar build is better because then at least you're just not even using vampires you're just using a thrall team then <laughs> hey. what you want uh, drunken mole is exclamation point Mr. Nice that's what you want that's a good one I'm just playing.
playing games. I'm not gonna qualify. Ah, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> uh, indeed, indeed I don't. I don't think I'm going to qualify with vampires, probably ever. Not lucky enough. It's a bit of a weird decision by him, isn't it? Yeah. Try and get his guy served. Oh, well, I fucked that up, didn't I? I should have, um... I should have moved the guy first. That was a great example of how to be shit with vampires. What not to do there. For you. Great example of how to not play vampires there. He should have gone here first. So that the uh, vampire could have gone here, isn't it? doesn't matter whether the case worked or not. I just need an assist. I need to do a 4 plus gaze here, don't I? But essentially. There you go. And we get a pal, because of course we do. going great. <laughs> it's going great, isn't it? I mean, it is a shit matchup, to be fair, because they're just elves. What can you even do against them? Especially when you don't have tackle. Not a lot. I thought, I thought about it, but he's got dodge, hasn't he? And if I push in, then I've got to dodge away, and I can't bite. See, because. Maybe if I hadn't failed the bloodlust, I could have done. But if I blitz him and he sidesteps to there, then I've then I bite and then he serves me, doesn't he? So he's committing a lot to get a one dicer here, isn't he? I think he just realised that it won't be a two dicer. Oh, he's going for the Frenzy Trap Blitz. Lucky. Oh, he's going to get surfed, though. <laughs> Has to re-roll it. In for a 1D. Unless he's got guard. No. No, gets away with it. Dirty boy. Well, what's the, what, what, where's the ball going? All three trying to tackle him. <laughs> And he's out of re-rolls, at least. Good 
Do I don't know what I do here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you get surfed afterwards, that's the shit thing, isn't it? I don't really want to get surfed afterwards. size to well I could big look at death ball but he's still he's still on the sideline isn't he it wasn't it was just shit really. With his frenzy I can't really do a lot. All players standing. <laughs> Glorious. Just gonna score. Another frenzy trap. Ah, <laughs> didn't even need that. <laughs> it was just a zero rerolls trap. Alright, where's a wrestler? Stunned. And he pushes him to there. I need I need to power this guy, I think. It's all fuck up. Can't even get the ball. That. That's what I've got. <laughs> Roll a one on the first dodge. Oh well. 
At least I haven't conceded, eh? I've got that going for me. Yeah, maybe streaming Blood Bowl makes me dumb. Yeah. Wow, he's had some bad dice here, hasn't he? Double skulls followed by double skulls. Oh, there's guard everywhere. Can't even block anybody. Pound him. <laughs> Fucking typical. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could go here. No, I can't. No, I could have gone there and gazed him, couldn't I? He's got guards anyway. We're guards. We're guarding. We're guards. Guards. Don't know where I can fucking go. Okay, he's in. Double GFI foul. And a dodge. No. He's got his canoring threat. Not a scoring threat, I guess. No T swizzle. Yeah, no, I've given up on mine. I got pissed off <laughs> facing only 99 overall teams. Does the one dice, doesn't get the pow. Let's use dodge. Is he going to get surfed by this fucking dancer? That's fun. No, he's not going to surf him. One dice into an uphill, but he's got tackle. There you go. Classic. Ah, <laughs> good. <laughs> good elf. Frenzy fucking him up there. Good elf. Get fucked, you little <laughs> cunt! <laughs> He's had some crap dice, hasn't he? To give us a chance, to be fair.
<laughs> I got his face in the wrong way. <laughs> what an idiotic thing to do on a blood ball pitch. Just herp derping around. So shit that I've got to run away from him to not bite him. I can't just choose not to bite and go off the pitch. So I had to risk dying on the on the dodge there. Not bad KO rolls. Failed the block though. So, not great KO rolls. In fact, shit KO rolls. Because it was only the block and the wrestle mattered. But, you know, successfully defended <laughs> by him rolling shit. <laughs> Pro tips have your opponent roll two double skulls after they've got no re rolls left. Brilliant. Now I just have to cage up, beat him down, grind him out for the one nil. Easy. Easiest thing in the world to grind somebody down. Yeah, it was. It was rotten blue. There were five KOs, got four out of five, but I had three reserves. So all I needed was, was the block and the wrestle. And so there you go. It was pretty shit KO rolls. But the number didn't matter. What mattered was. Um, the player quality, wasn't it? Blood ball to lose. Now I don't even have somebody to bite anymore when I block. Fucking A. I don't have a wrestle on the bench. I brought him on. Not that bad. Not that bad at blood ball. Not as good as people who don't roll ones, but... Not shit. Got that going for me. Yeah, I could have power up all that, couldn't I? KO on a wrestle. Probably should have appled it, actually. I mean, definitely should have appled it. There's a shit non appo. Turn one KO is literally the best thing I can appo in this game now. So 
I should have appled, no question. But didn't. He only had one more answer. I don't know if it's missed next game or what, but uh, only he needs one, doesn't he? Wow, that was nice of him. <laughs> yes, I will push him away from my whole team. Thank you. Smooth power on it. Powered his blodger. To no avail. Yeah, no strip is nice. He was afraid of the tree fall. I guess he was. <laughs> I guess he was afraid of the tree fall. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that that was it. Basing up with AV seven. Why not when they're indestructible? I don't know if I've made a fucking stun in this entire match, to be honest. No, oh, no, stunned the dancer when the dancer double skulled, he stunned himself, didn't he? I think that was the one AV break of the match. Herp derping with AV7. Chance of it being punished, close to fucking zero. <laughs> now he's going to block first. Because he could have bit the guy who's got two men on him. Oh, a stun. Outrageous. It's a shame that there's a block here, but I've got to got to utilize the blitz ability. We don't break AV. Break AV in my own guy, though. <laughs> Classic. And he falls over.
What a shit show this is. Yeah, you do always break AV on Blippers. What I mean is I, he based up my whole team. And the only guy who got his AV broken was mine. Oh no, and his, his loner. <laughs> you don't always bloodlust though, do you? Especially not when you've got block and pro. Block and pro when you've got pro and a reroll. But he's, he, his sidestep into, into a three dice block was a great idea. Guess he's gonna go for the leap in here. Taking a long time, isn't it? I don't know why he's taking so long. It's pretty obvious two dice on the ball here, isn't it? He's taking his sweet fucking time about it. No wolf from Ajax. No, I don't bother with fungal. Makes my eyes bleed. Don't know what the point of this Dodgers here is. Could have just stood up the catcher, of course. End the but turn instead, for fuck's sake! End the fucking GFI. turn, man! And a couple of Dodgers. Then sta then stands up the catcher anyway. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic CCL opponent. Doesn't bring in the second assist. Because why not? Why not just block here? Why not spend all that time blocking there to bring in an assist to make it a two dice? He could have he could have blocked there, brought him into here, and had blitz blitz from here, had two D, push him into there, and then two D into two D. But instead he makes it a one dice, uses reroll, gets the fucking pow. Wow! Jesus fucking Christ. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Why bother playing Blood Ball when you can just fucking do what you want? <laughs> but he stood up the catcher, though. After, after, immediately after making the dice rolls rotten blue, he stood up the catcher. When it was unnecessary to catch him up. In, in fact, it was terrible to stand him up after making those. And now he dodged with his. Anyway, and now he's done it afterwards. Now he's dodged with that afterwards. Just garbage, isn't it? It's pure fucking garbage play. Rewarded every time. I just want to take the skull and concede. And I won't. Guess I should use a team reroll there, seeing as I'm losing if I fail. <laughs> just end the turn. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Just end the turn, man.
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I rolled a one for the uh, I rolled a one for the pro, didn't I? And then a one for the uh, bloodlust. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear me. But still should have used the team rerolls, it was a bad play. So you know there's you can learn you can learn from your mistakes even in a stupid game like this. Her opponent has two dice on the ball, but chooses to make unnecessary dodges and GFIs and then a one dice on the ball. <laughs> Just to fucking add salt to the wound when he beats you. There's a lot of ones coming up here. I do try. <sighs> Nearly picked the skull again. Might as well get all of them surfed here. Stands up. Stands up to get bit. As you do. months Jesus Christ <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> thank you very much Moradam for staying fantastic <laughs> yeah the text to speech woman was pretty good there wasn't she Jesus Christ thank you glorious Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Tony. You should, shouldn't you? Should get medals made for everybody. I should get a medal for sticking through this match as well. To be fair. monthly Jim BB stream. <laughs> Thanks, PCO. <laughs> yeah. I know there hasn't been one for a while. I'm sorry. But thank you very much. For staying fantastic. Oh, God. 
God, could this guy play any slower? Fucking hell, man. One minute turns when? That's what I want to know. <laughs> fucking hell. End the turn, for fuck's sake. End the fucking turn, man. Rondo, all that, and he still fucking makes another frenzy try. <laughs> this is his cage. <laughs> With infinite time. <laughs> this is his fucking cage. <laughs> Something else in it. Okay, now. Can he get in? I guess he could, yeah. No, not anymore. Can't get the assist now, can I? Fuck. Ah, oh, fucked it up. One more likely. Power is fifty-five percent, isn't it? So the power's more likely than the uh, than the gaze. Alright, wanna. Let's go. No, it worked! You've got a scoring threat as well. I don't need two GFIs. I don't even want to activate him because of the uh, bloodlust. Two dodges, pass it, or what? Fuck it, you might as well, might not. No. Jim Shard. Jim Shard, that would have been glorious, wouldn't it, doing a pass there? If only I'd kept a reroll. <clears throat> if only I'd kept a reroll. <laughs> I didn't do that, Aurea Lensis. I didn't do that. <laughs> For the benefit of those watching. <laughs> I did not do that. Dirty Dingo. He does the pass. Just irrelevantly. Because why not? Another stun.
That's all the ice stays out. Superb. Two tens, zero rerolls. I might have might have actually stopped that if I hadn't skipped my turn that turn here. Yeah. So there's another good pro tip: never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. Got a reroll. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pass it to the rookie. Blitzing with wrestle paying off. Glorious. I can just pass it this one, I can't. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI pass to him, and then he's got a blot it's on a blodger. Well, not that it matters much against this fucking. Didn't roll a one on the first roll. Outrageous. Oh. How's it the blodger seems best, doesn't it? Dice without a one. <laughs> Glorious. Glorious dice rolling abilities there. Well done, Jim. I did check it. Block did not come back. Oh, he did come back. The wrestle didn't. Oh, I was shit. There you go. Shit at Blood Bowl. I checked it and I knew he'd fucking come back, but he hadn't. I knew one of them hadn't come back and the other one had. And just didn't put him on. Shit at Blood Bowl. Confirmed. Confirmed shit at Blood Bowl. Jimmy Fantastic. Well done, mate. I must say my enthusiasm for this match has gone through the floor. <laughs> but still should have shouldn't have should have kept playing properly. Well trying to play properly. But I, if I hadn't ended the turn I might have stopped the stop that score or won the game even. So there you go. Never give up, never surrender. Always pay attention. Count! Even when you'd rather be doing anything than playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck off! Yep, even when you feel like that. If you make the right decisions, you might still win, might you? Uphill blitz. Does not have does not have strip. No, I haven't hippie. No, I don't like computer games to be honest. <laughs> so I can't imagine I'd like it. Yeah, 
Frank Bloodshirt did pay off, didn't it? Yeah. That's the thing. I mean, he was... He was limited to an uphill, wasn't he? And obviously defenceless is a bit shit. So the extra the extra dice roll was worth it, I thought. With an edge five leap, he's going to get an uphill if he wants it, isn't he? Relevant G5 of the catcher comes as standard. Right. I'm wondering if there's anything clever I can do. I don't think so. You know, like, can I block with him or something? I don't think it's probably not worth it, is it? Not worth trying to think of anything. Oh, actually... Yeah, gaze is is more chance than, than working on the block, isn't it? I shouldn't have blocked there. I haven't blocked yet. Gaze is just better odds. Yes. Ah, but then if I push him, then I can blitz for the push, which is better. So... I don't have I don't get to put the guy in the end zone though. But fuck it. Glorious. Yeah, you can just punch the just punch the damsel, would not it? Well, getting a draw there was good, wasn't it? Assuming he doesn't one turn. Fuck off, you shit cunt. <laughs> Thanks, I can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> Dick joke, yeah. Yes, whiskey dick. What the fuck is the point of vampires? I don't know. I honestly don't know, man. I fucking don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Jelly Pally, I don't know. He did have some bad dice. To be fair, he had some bad dice uh, in the first half, but he didn't deserve the good dice that he got when he fucking shot. <laughs> it was easy to get two dice on the ball. <laughs> and he made yeah, loads of irrelevant cunt. dice to fucking make it a one <laughs> dice on the ball instead. <laughs> fucking mad bastard. And I stopped playing for a turn as well. Ended the turn early because I'd given up and then st nearly stole the ball and scored. <laughs> After giving up on the drive, which is crazy, isn't it? So, there you go. Mostly have fun. Shit. Having fun, eh? What a, what a fucking alien concept to Blood Bowl. <laughs> 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 what a completely fucking alien concept. <laughs> Have fun. Jesus. I had a friend who always used to say gay as Christmas, which I thought was funny. 
Because <laughs> I never really thought of Christmas as gay, but he did. P. Diddy. This might even be better for him. I might have just, I might have inadvertently made it better for him. That's probably the best it's gonna get, isn't it? I don't want to fucking stop the pushes. Ah, I'll do I though? I don't care if the players fucking die, do I? I give a fuck if anybody dies. I'll do. Can't be bothered to think about it. Thinking's overrated, isn't it? Has <laughs> this guy proved with his <laughs> his one dice on the ball after a bunch of irrelevant moves? <laughs> I'm not bitter about it, you know, just going to keep mentioning it. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear me. What a bunch of shit. Does he? You grab from the victims. So you would have had to have, you would have had to grab him across and then blitz him into the hole. Could have still done it though. Woeful, woeful attempt though. Like there was no need to use the whole method, was there? When I didn't have, uh, you know, there was no me no reason to use the whole method. It was poor, poor effort by him. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> poor effort. Well, don't know how that was a draw. The, what I don't like about vampires is you don't see how many AV breaks you did. And most of those were on my own players. I did very few on him. I inflicted three KOs all on my own players. <laughs> three stuns in the entire match. 87% AV7. <laughs> <laughs> Literally AV, AV9 Wood Elves that is, isn't it? Better than AV9 Wood Elves. <laughs> Nearly AV10 Wood Elves that is. <laughs> stupid. All seven GFIs, most of his catches, both of his leaps, all of his passes, all of his pickups. <laughs> Luckily, his block dice, he rolled a couple of double skulls, didn't he, after he'd wasted his rerolls. 28, 24, 31, but still good dice overall. 25, 21, 32. Fair amount of pals as well. 53% AV. 79% bloodlusts. 62% KO rolls, despite having two babes. 73% dodges. I guess I did have some agility 3 dodges. Good GFIs, to be fair. Good pickups as well. Shit pro. Oh, it's <laughs> a fucking shit match. <laughs> it was like AV 9.5 Wood Elves, though. So, you know, getting away with a draw against AV 9.5 Wood Elves is pretty good. 
So <laughs> thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.